Hey guys, Carney4696 here today to talk to you about one of my favorite accessories and in my eyes probably a must have slash pick up right when you get a new console, controller, or system and that is thumb, cap thumb caps. Thumb caps or uh, I've heard them called knobs or jelly caps. I've heard them called a bunch of different things over the years or even the main name brands Control Freaks. So I am a firm believer in having these on your controllers. I've, they've saved my PS4 controllers and I've used them on my 360 controller even from the start. And I even, on my Switch, you know, I got little ones on my portable mode on the go, same ones on my Pro controller. But today we're gonna be talking about the Pro Aim Sniper Pack. This is from A-Class. So what we have here is a two millimeter, seven millimeter, and then 12 millimeter thickness for the controller. So I know that they're gonna work with the Pro Controller because that's what they're made for, but I wanna know, will they work with the Hori Controller? You know, this is a controller lots of people are picking up now because it is a cheaper alternative to the Pro Controller. So we're gonna find out how they're going to feel on the Pro Controller and how and if they're going to fit on the Hori Controller. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have here, you know, thumbsticks, pretty basic, you know, everything is in Japanese because this is a product in Japan right now. Uh, from what I can see, it's not yet available in the States, but I will put the link for the Amazon down in the description and it'll be off the Japanese Amazon to order to the States. You know, so I did pick this up for 10,000 yen, or 1,000 yen, I'm sorry, which is about, you know, 10 bucks. So it isn't too bad. You know, we have on here the Pro Aimer Sniper. You know, these are going to be the neon green and the neon pinks. This is like the Splatoon theme. You see, we have like the cute little splatter marks going down. You know, so I said we did have different size increments. So if we flip this over here, we can see we have two millimeters, seven millimeters, and then 12 millimeters. So we do have like the regular little raised, a little bit more raised, ridiculously raised. You know, but they do show you here when your controller, the movement it does with your knobs and how far you have to push it versus putting on these bigger knobs and how far you have to push it for that same movement. You know, so it looks like we, you know, you set it down on there, you give it a one, two spin and it's locked on and good to go. So with any more, let's, you know, get down into the nitty gritty goodness here. So we're going to get this open up. Nothing, nothing really in here, nothing really good. This is what we want. Okay, so for starters, we're gonna start with the two millimeter, because this is what I'm most curious about. You know, it feels pretty good so far. Rubber feels nice and sturdy. So, we're gonna try the Pro Controller first. We're gonna take off my other ones that are just the ones that I had that are extra from my Switch packaging that I got for it. So we're gonna get these real back. We're gonna see how difficult this can be. So that one went on nice and easy. You know, you peel it back. If you've had any troller knobs before or troller caps, you know kind of how they go on. So we're gonna make sure that it's fully seated all the way on there. And honestly, these feel really good. You know, so they are concaved so that your thumbs really sit in these pockets. So these might these might be my new ones that I keep on here yeah. but the, you know we know they were gonna fit on here you know overall they feel good you know they do have the four dots that's kind of like the left right up and down so that way you kind of can feel them with your thumbs when you're you know turning around going clicking nice and neat not too raised up though so I feel like I can come off of these onto my 
you know a b x y button fairly easy and detaching them fairly simple is come right off so now the big question will these fit on the hori controller we're going to start with the pink one oh already it didn't go on so we're going to try again here these can be a pain sometimes Oh. Well, guys, I have good news. It went on and it's on there. Well, fantastic news. It is on there. They're staying. You know, even kind of pushing on, like, trying really to get it to pop off not going anywhere well this is what I wanted to know I'm really glad that these are staying on here because you know everything's made for the you know the pro controller and not the Hori controller and the Hori controller has a little bit different thumbsticks versus the actual pro controller they're a little bit thicker they do fully remind me of the 360 controller but now that I know that these can stay on here I'm probably going to go ahead and maybe go pick up another set of these to go ahead and keep them on here. Well, there you have it, guys. Overall, I think these are a great product. You know, they save your controller some wear and tear. Uh, you know, that way you don't kind of build up anything. Plus, they save your, sum, your thumbs some wear and tear, too, especially if it's a game where you're constantly pushing down on the thumbstick. So, in my eyes, these are two thumbs up. I would definitely pick these up. Not sure how much the shipping would be from the states to the or from the states from Japan to the states. I'm not too sure about that, so that's something you might have to look at. We will go ahead. I am really curious about these 12 millimeters and these round ones. So we'll take we'll take one of each. And we're, gonna, we're gonna put them on here and see how this goes. This, these are literally it's like this this is ridiculous I don't I don't know about this I'll put this round one on if I can oh this is weird this is weird. This is maybe weird in a good way though. We might do some further testing with these and see if we like these 12 millimeter ones. Cause this is, I've never played with anything this high up. I mean, and to show a comparison, pop this off the Hori. Let's get, a, let's get a nice comparison here. I'll do it with the pink. Like that's that's a big difference. And for your thumbs to be raised up that far and really on there and going, I don't know. We'll we'll see how this goes. But anyways, so thank you guys for watching. You know, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down in the bottom here. If you like my content, please subscribe. Knowing that you guys like my stuff, even if you know you're giving me cr uh, cr feedback, whether if it's good, bad, please keep it up, guys. That way, I know how to improve the channel, and hopefully, we'll keep growing it from there. So, thank you, guys. Have a good one.